guys, so I thought that I would do... <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a really gravelly voice today. Um, I've just got back from Sydney. I was doing a job for Suzanne. Um, if any of you live in Australia and you go into a Suzanne store, then I am all over the shop, in the store and in the window. Just saying. Um, I took my friend Roz with me. I said if I paid for her flight, so I get a bit nervous about travelling so far because you have to change at Hong Kong, it's not a direct flight. Um, so I got a little bit nervous and she actually went into the city centre while I was on the job. Um, and had a look and took lots of pictures and it was really weird. But also really cool. So um, if you go past to Suzanne, it's me. Um, today's video is going to be my um, top high-end bright lipsticks and then I'm also going to show you some um, drugstore ones also so I'll get on with the high-end ones I have one MAC, one Estee Lauder and three YSL because you know that I have a weird obsession with YSL lipsticks they're just so comfortable to wear but I'm going to get straight into the colours a lot of them you will find are quite coral and orangey based because I am olivey skinned even though you can't really tell in this light today because it's quite a, a white light outside um, but the first lipstick I am going to show you is uh, Estee Lauder's all day lipstick in the colour Frosted Apricot now this is the one that I still haven't got round to doing a tutorial with um, but I will do soon it does have shimmer in it I don't know whether the, um, the camera is going to pick that up but it's a bright apricot colour and I am going to swatch these on the back of my hand for you um, so here it is. You can see it's a little bit frosty. Um, now, it's more of a shimmer than a frost. Um, it's very comfortable to wear and it lasts a long time, which I like. Um, but I know that some people get a bit freaked out by the fact that it's, it says frost. It's not that frosty. I know that a lot of people get a bit freaked out about that because they tend to look really kind of granny-ish if you uh, wear a frost lipstick, kind of like... Um, you know that EastEnders lady, can't remember her name for the life of me. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's a really nice colour, especially if you're kind of like olivey skin tone like me. Um, this is the YSL Rouge Velup Shine in number 12. This is a kind of true orange. And these are a little bit more sheer. They have a glossy shine. They wear off a little bit you know, easier than um, than the all day lipstick, but they're really, really comfortable to wear, which is why I like them so much. And I just like that colour. It's um, it's just really yummy. I have another Rouge Fill Up Shine lipstick. This is the colour number six, and this is actually a hot pink. But this is really nice for summer. It's a bit more, it's not too warm. I shall just swatch it next to this for you. Again, you can sort of build the colour up with these ones, the YSL ones, but you can see they're a lot sheerer than, say, the All Day Lipstick, um, and they have a shine to them. They've got no shimmer, it's just kind of like the Revlon uh, Lip Butters, you know, that kind of sheen. Um, then I have a really shiny sheer one. This is the YSL Volup Sheer Candy in number 10. Um, and this is more like a tinted lip balm. It is a lip colour and you can build it up. This is again like a really true orange shade. Um, and I will show you. You can see. There is hardly any colour. But these are really nice if you want to do a bright lip but you're a bit scared. So you can see that you can sort of build it up. But these are also, you know, again really comfortable to wear. And they kind of work by using your um, your own lip colour as a base, but you can tell they're really, really shiny. Anything that is, you know, this looks really scary in the tube, but because it's so sheer, it's actually just a nice kind of hint of that colour, which is really nice if you want to do a bright lip, but you're a bit nervous. Now, the last one is mental. I'm not going to lie. This is the infamous Candy Yum Yum by uh, MAC, which is basically a really cool toned, almost neon uh, bright pink, kind of the colour of my sports top that I am wearing right now. Um, it is absolutely mental. And this is a matte finish. 
this is a very popular colour. I think they brought it out. I think it's permanent now because it was so popular and it just sold out. It used to, I think it's been in a couple of collections, but it was so popular and sold out so quickly they brought it out permanently, I think. Someone else, I'm sure, will comment below and be able to tell me that. This is a matte finish, so it is quite drying, but um, it does last quite a long time, which is good. And the MAC ones are cheaper than anything else that I have showed you here. Um, on to the drugstore ones. I have um, two from Bourgeois. This is my favourite, I think. This is my favourite kind of drugstore orangey colour. And this is the... What is it? Rouge Edition um, lipstick from Bourgeois in the colour Orange Pop Up, which is number nine. It says that on there. And this is again a true orange. Doesn't really have any um, shimmer in it, and it swatches very nicely. These last quite a long time. They have a nice colour payoff. Um, they have a little bit of a shine. It's not perfectly matte. Um, but I actually have a couple of neutral colours in this lipstick as well. They're really comfortable to wear. Don't, not too drying, but have a nice kind of pigment to them. Um, the second bourgeois thing that I have to show you is in the colour 01 Red Sunrise, because you have to have a red in there somewhere. And these are the big crayon thingies, which are called Colour Boost. Um, these are the Colour Boost pencils by Bourgeois. These are fairly new, um, and I really like this one. They're very similar to the... Um, Revlon just bitten kissable balm stains, but as you can see, they are significantly more glossy than those. Um, but I really like them, they're very comfortable to wear. Um, I also have an orange one, which I also like, um, but this red is just really pretty. You can wear them sheer as well. If you kind of just put one layer on and sort of press it in with your finger, you can wear them really sheer and glossy, or you can kind of go a full colour and build them up a little bit as well. Um, but they do stain your lips, so the colour actually stays pretty well. Then I have two from Revlon. These are both Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. This is the colour Rendezvous, um, which is a true orange. You can tell I have a thing for orange at the moment. And these are similar to the um, Glossy Sticks. Uh, not the Glossy Sticks, what am I talking about? The, uh, the chubby sticks from Clinique, but much cheaper. I say they're better, actually. They have more of a colour to them. They're really nice. They're twist up, which is handy. Um, they are less glossy than the bourgeois ones, though. And I don't think they stain your lips quite as well as the bourgeois do. Then the second colour I have is Love Sick, which is a bright, sort of coolish toned hot pink. really nice you can tell I like pink and I like coral um, not as glossy as the bourgeois again um, really nice I like them and then I have two lipsticks from Topshop the first one that I'm going to show you is Satorial which you guessed it is an orangey coral um, I'm running out of swatching areas here you go more of a coral than a true orange Really pretty, really nice if you have um, like a more olivey skin tone. Really pigmented, really impressed with the Topshop lipstick actually. They're one of my favourite formulas that you can get on the high street. And the last one that I have is really amazing. I absolutely love this colour. It's, it's not quite a neon, but it is so bright when you have it on the lip, especially if you're going to line the whole, if you line your lips with a bright hot pink and then fill it in completely. This lasts a lot longer. And it's so bright. This is Brighton Rock from Topshop. Doesn't look that bright on camera, but when you put it on, it's amazing. And here it is, swatched here. The Topshop ones have a really nice kind of creamy texture, which is why I like them. They're, again, they're very comfortable to wear, and they last a long time. So those are my bright lipstick picks. You have a mixture of high-end and drugstore for you there. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!